Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release, which is the C release or the feature update that is released each month by Microsoft to the main release. In this video, we're talking about the build 22631.3527 or code KB5036980. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 update for the main release. And of course, make sure to watch this video until the end because we're going to cover it all. If you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different Windows 11 updates, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is announcing some changes related to the Start menu. So the recommended section of the Start menu will start to show some Microsoft Store apps. These apps come from a small set of curated developers. This will help you to discover some of the great apps that are available and this will show somewhere in the recommended section, but you can always turn this off, right click on the Start menu, click on Start Set and you're going to have here show recommendations for tips, shortcuts, new apps, and more. You can turn this off and you won't ever receive any recommended apps or promoted apps in the short menu. Also in the short menu, in the coming weeks, your most frequently used apps might appear in the recommended section of the short menu. This applies to apps that you have not already pinned to the short menu or the taskbar. And this can be seen, of course, if you have more recommendations set. And when you use an app frequently, you're going to notice that it appears on the recommended section. There are also updates to the widget section. This update improves the widgets icon on the taskbar. They are no longer pixelated or fuzzy. This update also starts the rollout of a larger set of animated icons. And we also have some updates related to widgets on the lock screen, which are now more reliable and have improved quality. This update also affects the touch keyboard. It makes the Japanese 106 keyboard layout appear as expected when you sign in. And also this update addresses an issue that affects settings, stops responding when you dismiss a flyout menu. And of course, in this update, we're also getting the Windows 11 service in stack, which is the build to 22631.3522 and this ensures that it can install and receive of course Microsoft updates reliably and easily. There's also one known issue in this update. After installing this update you might be unable to change your user account profile picture. I don't think this is a pretty big issue. Of course this will be fixed in future builds. So basically this is it with the C release for the month of April. For more information about the main release and other info you can check out the article below in the video description. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Zubani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.